In this issue of the Code with Dan newsletter, we're going to talk about AI and web components, get into a little bit on mean stack and how you can integrate with Cosmos DB, talk about CSS Grid and a really nice tutorial out there that you can get into, and there's a deep dive free online book on TypeScript that I found really interesting. And then we're going to wrap it up in this edition with a really nice VS Code plugin. Now, the first one up is really interesting. This integrates with Azure Cognitive Services and AI technology, and it will actually tell you if you're smiling or not. It actually gives you a percentage on how happy you are, in essence. Now, this is a really cool web component that was written that, as mentioned, will integrate with the AI services on Azure. So if you're interested in AI technology, and let's face it, who's not these days? There's a lot of cool stuff coming out. This is definitely a cool thing to check out. Uh, because it's a web component built with Stencil, you can actually use it in React or Angular or Vue or other applications. The next item is by my good friend John Papa, and he provides a nice video walkthrough, really nice and short to the point videos on using the mean stack with Cosmos DB. So if you haven't checked out Cosmos DB, it's actually super interesting. You can even take what was a MongoDB connection, change it, and instantly be cloud enabled in your application. So a lot of interesting stuff there. And if you're interested in that and building mean stack applications, definitely check out John's video series. One of my favorite up and coming CSS technologies is the CSS Grid. Flexbox is really cool, but CSS Grid takes it up a whole level. Now I have in my Flipboard magazines quite a few tutorials on CSS Grid and how you can get started with it. But here's one on the dev.mozilla.org site. And I really liked it because it was very, very simple provides a nice graphical overview, as you can see here, of how to get started with it. And then as you click on your items here on the left, you can drill down into more detail. So this is definitely the wave of the future when it comes to laying out items and the overall structure of your website. So check that out if you're interested in this cutting edge technology. Anyone that knows me knows that I love TypeScript. I like having the type support and interfaces and generics and all the good stuff that comes with the TypeScript language. And I came across an online book, which is called TypeScript Deep Dive. And you can get to this free online. And this book goes pretty deep, actually. If you want to learn how inheritance actually works when you do that in TypeScript and ES 2015, then you'll get info about the prototype and all the underlying aspects of that and how that works. And then, of course, there's much, much more included. So definitely check out this book. You'll see on the left, there's a lot of great details here. And as I mentioned, when you drill in, it gets pretty detailed on how things are working. So definitely something to check out if you're a TypeScript developer. Now, the last item I wanted to highlight is a plugin for VS Code called Import Cost. If you work with require to import or the import keyword with ES2015 modules, maybe in the browser, then oftentimes it's interesting to know, you know what is the cost, the uncompressed and the compressed size of this script that I'm actually importing. So with this plugin, as you'll see in the demo they show here, it'll actually show you that size off to the right. Now they show a require here, but you can also, as I mentioned, do it with imports. Super useful if you're working with JavaScript that runs in the browser, because now you know exactly how big those libraries are that you're importing. So you can go to the VS Code gallery to pick this up for free, and it's something you can easily disable if you don't want it on all the time. That's what I end up doing. But I really like it overall as a plugin. So that's a wrap on this edition of the Code with Dan newsletter. If you haven't subscribed already, head over to codewithdan.com, scroll down to the bottom, and you can sign up there. And also check out the YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date on these videos. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.